All right, we got our McDonald's iced coffee, egg McMuffin, some neat things going on, some reorganization of the warehouse going on. I spoke with Evan and basically we're gonna move all of the A1 printers that we had in the back rack that was back there originally uh, to this shelf here. Uh, so here, and we'll probably bump out this again and this one, another, another rack. And then back here, we're gonna transform these two old A1 racks here to P1P. So we're gonna get 12 P1Ps, uh, sorry, 18. So nine per rack, 369, and then 369 over there. Right now, these six have been bought, been set up. Um, I'm just gonna go through and connect these guys to Wi-Fi and start some prints on them. I'll order some more printers, and then when they come in, they'll get set up in this area. So naming convention, nothing too crazy. We're just gonna call this 101, 102, 103, so on and so forth. All right, we got some new plastic in. I believe this I bought from Elegoo, Elegoo's website. Uh, it's just PLA, uh, red PLA that I bought for, I think, $10 roll. I lied, this is not. This is Elegoo. This I bought from Amazon. Huh. I wonder where the plastic is. Uh, here is uh, the Sunlu plastic that I bought. So Sunlu uh, has transitioned most of their new spools into the new plastic rolls that can fit into the AMS. Uh, the diameter of this fits perfectly into the AMS light, so that is very nice. All right, this printer is ready to go. We loaded it with our Sunlu Red, and we're going to be printing these face shells. Uh, we've been selling these for Halloween, also for like New York Comic Con and whatnot. So I go into my Bamboo Handy app. I find the file in my print history. I just hit print again, and the cool thing is because this is already sliced for the P1P, uh, I can just essentially send them all to these printers, and then it'll be stored on the micro SD card so that I can just access them later. Uh, I just got to scroll all the way down here to 102. So it should be in alphabetical order actually, so it should be all the way up here. 102 should be up here. There it is, 102, and then I just hit print, and there it goes. So once I do that, uh, the file will get stored onto the micro SD card here so that if I ever need to just print it again, I'll just be able to print it uh, directly from the card. And so there it is downloading. For comparison, this is the older Sunlu spools. You'll see how the, uh, the, the inner diameter of this is very big compared to the newer spools. There's the newer spool, and that's the older spool. Much smaller, uh, so this will fit perfectly into the AMS light. All right, so Friday is garbage day. What I like to do is just take all the leftover garbage from this. This garbage bag isn't fully full yet, so I'll just take some uh, garbage from here and try to fill this bag up. And then garbage goes into the dumpster. Uh, this is our garbage situation here. <laughs> this dumpster is completely full. Uh, this is pretty much a week worth of garbage, or should it be? Hopefully they come pick up today and uh, empty this bad boy out. They didn't put sugar in my coffee. It tastes terrible. All right guys, let me show you a little behind the scenes uh, footage of some of the, some new thing that we just came out with. Um, well, we didn't really come out with it, but we're bringing to uh, selling these on TikTok, on Amazon. Uh, these are our fruit turtle collection. So we have six different fruit turtles. Uh, this one's a kiwi. We have an orange. Uh, this is um, actually, I have them over here. So dragon fruit, apple, orange, and then the other two are watermelon and strawberry. And then the kiwi one you just saw here. So six in total. This is sort of a little behind the scenes of how we assemble these to get the uh, mechanical clicking sound. So you've probably seen these over TikTok if you haven't. Uh, if you can hear that, it's a very, basically these use mechanical keys that you find in mechanical keyboards. These are uh, pile, uh, these are white switches. You can also use brown or red switches if you want. Uh, white switches is what we use. And essentially this is how the raw prints come out. All right, you have the base and then you have the tops that go in. Um, so you put the caps right into the slots for the holes. 
and then you put uh, these little pieces all around the shell of the turtle and then we sell these as a keychain and so this is one of the products that we just launched on TikTok shop um, these are ones that we sent out to hundreds of affiliates already uh, for videos uh, we sent them out as free samples and we're just starting to see some sales roll in from those affiliate videos so super happy. I think these are going to be super uh, cool for Christmas as gifts for kids, uh, stocking stuffers. Again, they also come with the lobster claw keychain. So if you're interested in this, check out our website. I'll have these on our website as well. But you can also get these on Etsy, on Amazon, and on TikTok shop. And so these do take a little bit more time in terms of labor because we have to obviously assemble all of these. Uh, we have to put the switches in and then we have to put the key rings and also the actual pieces on the turtle back but it is super satisfying and very addicting to play with. All right, well, that was a quick uh, time lapse of uh, just me assembling some of these are very time consuming to assemble like I showed you previously, uh, but this is the final product. Um, and I do factor in labor for this. People were saying that, oh, you don't factor in labor, you don't factor in the time. Um, each one of these probably takes about two minutes to make uh, so in an hour you can do what is that two times 30 of them in an hour right if you pay somebody $20 an hour uh, it comes down to a little bit less than a dollar right yeah a little less than a dollar per unit to assemble um, another thing is uh, these keys that we buy uh, they're from Amazon uh, they are pretty expensive the ones that we buy from Amazon they're 37 no, 31 cents each each of these turtles requires seven of them so you do the math, it's about a little bit over $2.10 in terms of just the keys. And then the 3D print is pretty cheap. Uh, it's probably, honestly, less than probably $1.50, I would say, to 3D print the turtle and the keycaps. So $1.50 plus $2.10 is $3.60 plus another, let's say, dollar for labor, $4.60 plus the key rings. We'll just even everything out to about $5. $5? I, I lost my count on my math. But this is a really cool item, I think. Uh, so... The person who designed this, uh, they're called Popular Prints on Patreon. You can see she has a ton of different designs. The Fruit Turtles is just one design. And she, has, she has, I don't know how many, probably 30, 40, 50 designs of different style clickers that all use the same mechanical keys. Um, so there's a bunch of Halloween ones she came out with. I'm sure she's going to come out with Christmas ones as Christmas comes around the corner. Pretty cool. These are very different to play with. Um, I decided to just do the Fruit Turtles. Like I said, there's a ton of different designs, but I wanted to streamline my process and just stick to one product because um, I can easily print all like things but that's not what I want to do but yeah, I just wanted to showcase this product it's very cool this coffee is very difficult to drink without sugar not gonna lie all right today we're gonna try to fix the issue with this a1 combo printer uh, I reached out to bamboo labs they said basically to take apart this piece here and make sure the connectors are sitting in place so we're gonna try to do that oh there we go it's kind of hard to see, but maybe this connector here is a little bit loose. So we'll try to uh, unseat that and put it in. Piece. It was actually the piece in the back over here. So I just unpop the back, check at the connectors. The connectors all look fine in here. Um, so we're going to try to power this up and see what the error message is again. All right, so we hooked it up over here to our UPS, have it hooked up. And I think what was happening was when I uh, went to um, heat up the nozzle, it wasn't heating up. So nozzle, we'll do 120, 210, bed, let's do 60, 50 on the bed, see what happens. Yeah, so look, the nozzle is not even uh, heating up at this point, even though I set it to whatever, 150. Um, the nozzle is just not moving. And so if anybody can help me and figure out what's going on with this guy, I'll probably have to submit another ticket to Bamboo Labs to see firmware update. Let's update the firmware. Yeah, if anybody knows uh, exactly what I need to do here, leave a comment below. I'm gonna open a ticket with Bamboo Lab again to see maybe see if there's something going on in here. Update failed. All right, so I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, I turned upside down the printer and this entire seating here is disconnected. So the USB-C port there is disconnected. Um, so let's just get this guy reseated and see if that fixes the issue. All right, so that was the issue. Basically, the cable underneath the uh, printer came loose. I just reseated the USB-C cable. Everything seems to be working fine. I'm updating the firmware. I can't believe this took me 
close to two months. These printers have just been sitting here idle for two months. Uh, I put on the new cryo grip sheet here. We're gonna do the firmware update. We're gonna get this loaded with some PLA and get this bad boy printing. So uh, not a fault with bamboo. It's a user error on my end. So yeah, so far none of my A1s have broken. Uh -huh. Also like, why, why, did, why are you guys still using paper straws McDonald's? This is how I have to drink my iced coffee. I have like a little of it uh, out so that it's not in the water. And then as I drink it, I just push it down just so that the straw doesn't get too soggy. Like this is, this is how I drink it. All right guys, we're gonna wrap up this video shortly, but just wanted to show you guys one thing that we're doing with TikTok Shop. Um, this is called the TikTok Creative Challenge. I think if you just Google it, TikTok Creative Challenge up here, um, you'll bring you to your dashboard here and basically you can create these challenges that creators on TikTok can join. And it's very similar to the affiliate program where you're sending out free samples to affiliates. They sort of do like a, a, a campaign brief, the product you want to advertise, give them details about the product and how you want your videos to be made. And then you'll get creators who want to join your campaign. So this challenge, for instance, uh, we have 10 creators here that all 10 have been approved by me. And basically what you do is uh, they'll, they'll give you example videos of kind of how they make videos for either an app, directing people to websites, product videos, things like that. And you can go through their videos and see how their videos are. And if you like them, you can approve them. And then basically you send them a free sample. Uh, so these are all the cre uh, creators that have tried or attempted to join the challenge. I can only approve 10. So 10 were approved. There were other ones that I didn't approve because the max for the campaign is only 10. And so basically we're going through and basically uh, shipping out the free products to them. So we're doing those uh, fruit turtles that I showed you earlier. So these are the types of fruit turtles that they want. Um, we're gonna send these out. Basically we're copying the addresses to these creators on ShipStation, shipping out these products. And, and then uh, when they get the products, they essentially have to give you, they have to create content for you, for your videos. Now, what's unique about this is the content that they create, uh, it gets sent directly to you. It doesn't get posted to my account. Um, the videos are kind of sent privately through TikTok, and then you can run ads to them on the TikTok ads manager platform. So uh, it's basically a way to get uh, verified and creators who have done this for a while who make better quality content than the normal people you would find on uh, TikTok's affiliate program. Again, this is called the TikTok Creative Challenge. I think anybody can go on here and create a challenge for affiliates um, to come and join. So uh, this is my first go around. We're sending out, again, the 10 free samples today. Hopefully in the next week or so, these content creators will get the product and they'll make videos and it'll be on my ads platform and then I can run ads on those videos to try to generate sales so i will keep you guys posted um, if you guys have any other questions please feel free to leave a comment below and i will try to get to them as quickly as possible all right thanks bye